selecting the key environmental characteristic of a product using the life cycle assessment. Marcin Rychwalski, PhD, Quality Management Department at Krakow University of Economics in Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present you the results of research related to determining the key feature of a product using the life cycle assessment method. The study presents elements of an environmental inventory of the production systems of two different variants of a computer power supply unit and determines the impact on the environment. I made an assessment of the product life cycle and answers questions concerning the environmental impact of the selected product characteristics and determines the effects changes made to them. Thereby, I made a selection of the most significant product characteristic in environmental terms, which constitutes an important indication of the desired direction of product development, allows for its evaluation and comparison, and will also determine which version of the product is more eco-friendly. The study uncovers a key feature of the product that enables it to pave the way for effective improvement of its environmental characteristic or optimization. The purpose of the study undertaken relates to identification of such a product characteristic that has a particular environmental impact during its life cycle. Product systems as multidimensional objects and environmental changes with multi-factor characteristic are linked by highly specialized methods to access these relations. One of the methods addressing the, this challenge is life cycle assessment, which additionally involves IT tools to support calculations and visualizations, as well as environmental da databases of previously conducted analysis. This paper uses life cycle assessment as a rich analytical tool in order to identify an important environmental characteristic of the product under study. It is a method that allows for a very accurate identification of all processes affecting the product during its lifetime. The operation of the method can be observed already during eco-design and later in the production, use and disposal of the product. The assessment of the life cycle phases as well as the factors with the greatest generated impact on the environment allows for a more precise understanding of the product specified and enables to examine the possibilities of reducing its most significant impacts. Determination of the most environmentally relevant characteristic of a product will be valuable information for the manufacturer. Methods that were used in the study are primarily life cycle assessment with comparative studies, product inventory and impact assessment with the functional unit defined as using the power supply for 20,000 hours at a percent 50% power load. The basic method used in the study is the product life cycle assessment. This method was used to, to perform a comparative study of two versions of power supply unit with different designs as well as different functional and technical characteristics. With the assumptions made, the basic differences of the tested devices were highlighted. Variant 1 of the product supply is characterized by durability, ensuring that it can operate throughout the whole or some time of the experiment. Variant 2 is a product with higher electrical efficiency, but at the same time, it is characterized by lower durability. With the assumed operation time, two units of variant 2 of the power supply had to be used. The purpose of the test is to determine this characteristic of the power supply, which is characterized by higher significance in relation to the environmental impacts generated. The hypothesis that the durability of a power supply proves is indicative of its environmental quality as it generates smaller environmental impacts during its full life cycle has been verified. The improvements in variant two of a product is a form of a slightly changed design and higher efficiency are dictated among other things by the European Union regulations concerning electrical and electronic products, the use of safe materials, as well as the reduction 
of electricity consumption and electromagnetic interference. Such a high significance of the phase of use relative to the other phases has its cause in the long duration of this phase and in the type of impact occurring during this time, directly related to consumption of electricity. The specificity of electricity generation in this case determines the character of the majority of uh, impacts arising during the life cycle of a computer power supply. The second phase in terms of the significance of the effects extended in the manufacturer phase, which is contrast to the phase of use, increased its share relative to variant 1 by more than two times in the overall score of variant 2 of the PSU. The increase in the scores for manufacture is related first of all with the increased complexity of the design of the device itself and as well as its individual components, leading at the same time to an improvement in the scores for the most critical phase, which is the use phase. Another element causing for the doubling of the manufacturer impacts is the necessity of using two units of variant two of the power supply during, unit during the operation time assumed. For the individual components, the environmental impact is known as it is the result of the manner of the manufacturer taking into account the specific raw materials together with the extraction technology. Such a detailed description of the problem is an asset of the method of the life cycle analysis, which has a holistic and comprehensive approach to each product from candle to grave. Within the main categories of impact, the set responsible for human health accounts for the largest share. This is followed by depletion of non-renewable resources as, and climate change being caused. The lowest impact is on the quality of the ecosystem. The identification of production processes of key importance for the scores presented can constitute a task to be carried out as a further step in the life cycle assessment. The doubling of the number of units of the PSU variant 2 can be observed in the form of significantly increased scores for this variant. However, these emissions are many times lower than those relating from the differences in efficiency between the variants of the device tested. The last of the phases taken into account is disposal, which achieves low, low negative scores due to the legal regulations typical for electronic equipment with regard to reuse or recycling of some components in accordance with the directive 2012. The positive aspect of measures taken in this part reduces the total negative impact. The reuse of recycling of materials or parts of equipment not only reduces the amount of waste but also reduces the consumption of primary or non-removable uh, natural resources and is uh, often less energy intensive than the original manufacturer. Due to the specificity of the use phase and the significance threshold adopted the characterization of the environmental scores in the comparison between the two variants of the product was primarily based on the process of using electricity. The electricity consumption energy used by the power supply to make it work, as well as being the losses emitted as heat, the energy transferred to the output is not included in the results as it does not affect the impacts caused by the power supply itself. However, a certain value of the power generated has been adapted and described in the assumptions of the study as a reference point and at the same time the possibility of illustrating the order of magnitude of the product operation parameter. The distribution of environmental impacts for the main categories of damage is in the phase of use of the computer power supply in Poland. In both variants of the product, it is determined by the character of the emissions accompanying the consumption of electricity by the device and the, by the score sources of its generation. The final disposal of the computer power supplies generates relatively low impacts in comparison with the high scores of the phase of product use. The scores obtained for the category of images are expressed in micro-echo points as compared with the milli-echo points for the other phases. 
Within the comparison of the product variants, the differences in the scores reflect, first of all, the need to use two units of the Pro Power Supply Variant 2 in order to achieve the assumed operation time, which is due to its lower durability. Hence, the scores for Variant 2 turn out to be higher for each category of damage. In the analysis of the disposal scores, the impacts affecting human health are by far the dominant, reaching scores more than six times higher than the climate change category, which reached the second highest impact score. The analysis of the life cycle of two versions of computer power supplies allowed to obtain a lot of detailed information about their interaction with the same environment at all stages of the life cycle. First of all, it allowed the identification, comparison and selection of the most significant product characteristic in terms of environmental impact. Among the two key product characteristics selected for verification and related to the design of the variants tested, the characteristic with the K environmental impact was identified. The study has shown the great importance of the PSU efficiency and its impact on the most significant phase of its life, which turned out to be the phase of use with environmental scores many times higher than those for the other phases. The essence of the efficiency of device is closely related to the importance of the use phase of the product, which is largely caused by its long time operation. During this period, the way the device operates determines the main process of impact, which is the consumption of electricity. The decay difference between the two units, which resulted in such a distribution of environmental scores, is the seemingly small difference in efficiency of the two power supplies. Variant 1 of the PSU has an efficiency rating of 60%, while the second unit achieves 75% power efficiency. This small difference of only 15% results in impacts related to electricity consumption differing by almost 67%. This is largely due to the amount and nature of the energy that is consumed by both products during operation time. The composition of the raw materials needed to generate electricity in a geographical area determines the impacts of the use phase of a computer power supply in that territory, so the impacts will vary from place to place. Because of the geographical considerations, such as the infrastructure and sources of electrical energy, the results will vary significantly. Therefore, comparisons of devices can only be made within a single geographical location where the particular power system operates. A 50 15% improvement in device efficiency made it possible to offset the negative environmental impacts by almost 50% for one device by reducing energy loss from 2 MW per hour to 1 MW per hour over the lifetime of the power supply. On a global scale, this would be a huge energy gain considering the number of computers in operation worldwide and additionally higher efficiency of the power supplies which are available in variants of up to 95%. The analysis of the life cycle of power supplies manufacturer according to the use phase of the product, which is largely caused by its long time operation. During this period, the way the device operates determines the main process of impact, which is the consumption of electricity. The life cycle assessment made it possible to determine the most important characteristic of a product and to demonstrate the environmental impact associated with this characteristic and the changes made to it. The results can be evaluable guideline concerning the choice of the direction of a product development as well as a basis for further identification of sources of key environmental impacts for each phase of the product life cycle. These phases have been compared in terms of the significance of the impact detected and by identifying the critical components of the product system, it will be possible to carry out optimization of particular processes or products in order to mitigate these impacts. 
For more information, please read an article at the same title. Thank you for watching.